So here is the transformer, the whole setup of the transformer, as you can see. So here is the two wire that came come out from the light source. I'm currently running it from an inverter right there. There's an inverter. You can see there's an inverter right there. So that's the inverter I'm currently running it on. So here we can know the amperage it is consuming instead of going to the inverter to check the percentage. So from here we can get how many percent and how many amps it is consuming. So now this transformer, with only powering the transformer alone, consumes only 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 to 0 0.2 amps. So here is the circuit. I've already put it. So it goes from there as you can see 0 0.2. It goes up. So let me use it to power this electric motor. This is just for test purpose, as you can see. The electric motor is working and it is only continuing, still same 0 0.2, 0 0.1. As you can see. As you can see. Let me stop it. So, um, here is it as you can see. Let's, sorry, let's make it too bright. So here is the wire. If I put it, it will start to rotate. So let me short circuit it from here. If I short circuit this transformer, the 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 voltage and the current will still be the same. So look at the short circuit. And see, it even reduces. On short circuit, it reduces. Let me remove it. You see? Let me short circuit it. I'm using it currently from an inverter right here. An inverter is showing me 4.6 percent. This is a um, 800 watt inverter. So as you can see, I use it to power the motor again. I've removed it. Here's it. So let me short circuit it, so you can see. When I short circuit, you will hear it the sound a little. So as you can see, zero point zero zero. So I've short circuited. I'm currently using it off. I'm currently using it off from an inverter. This is the power of the transformer. Even though you short circuit it, let me use it to power a load again. Look at short circuit. I've short circuited here right here. Consuming zero point zero zero. Let me use it to power a load. This is the load. I'm not going to power the electric motor. On the electric motor, let, let me show you. 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So on this, I can pressurize here and the current will still remain the same. So that is how this type of transformer functions. That is how it functions. I can short circuit it easy to carry but the voltage coming out from there is around 89 volts 89 volts the, the output current is around 89 volts why the current here is on um, 220 volts it's 220 volts or a 220 volts so on a normal even a conventional the normal transformer you know the normal step down cannot do this thing because once you short circuit it it will definitely bounce back to the transformer and, and off the power system and of the power system but here you can short circuit it it's consuming a lower and um, even re reducing can use it to power this electric motor and do other things you cannot just you can also use it also to charge batteries and and what have you to do so many stuff but the current coming out the voltage coming out from it is 80 80 80 84 volts that's the voltage coming out i've tested it so when we talk about the power the power is inside this transformer that is when we talk about the current it can deliver well as for now i've not calculated the current it can deliver very well but um i i will, I will make a guess that the the, the 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 valid current right here is around 300 watts that is the current it can pull out to most load so as you can see 
is working accurately can short circuit it. Thank you.